Hello, sorry everybody uh, for not being around. I've had kitchen problems and uh, I won't go into it at the moment. Anyway, thought I'd show you. These are my frozen hockey putt eggs. <laughs> but if you have fresh eggs, you know, you do you. Uh, so I'm going to put in uh, about five. That That's kind of what I class the three of us. Um, so one or two per person. Time to uh, use one of my cured hams. Uh, it oh, excuse the lighting in here. It's really bad. But anyway, um, so with a very sharp knife, I'm going to take off the end, and most of that is fat. I'm going to keep that because that would be great uh, adding to uh, my bacon pan. And then we look in here. There's still a bit more, so. It's fine with me. And you can see I've got a better knife now. <laughs> anyway, so I'm going to cut. Whoops, sorry about the noise. <clears throat> I've got to turn this off because the noise is a bit loud. But beautiful cured ham. Right, so give that a stir. Make sure it's covered in water. Um, none of this water is going to be wasted, by the way, because I'm going to use that for something else in a minute. Lovely. So when the fat has um, started to turn white, then we know it's dehydrated and uh, ready to start cooking as soon as these are defrosted. Right, the eggs are slowly defrosting, but we do uh, need to get rid of this water. So we're going to add it to the egg mixture. And uh, you can see the ham is really hydrated really well. And now we're going to put in a mixture of, uh, I think it's oh, parsley, bell pepper, cubes, spring onions and white pepper and then just for a bit to add a bit of creaminess to it I'm just going to add in some milk powder give that a stir and I'm just doing this throughout um, over you know sort of three hour period quickly fry all the, the um, ham The uh, putting a lid on will enable it to steam from the top as well as cook from underneath. Just prep your burgers or sandwiches with, um, you know, tomato ketchup or I've got here uh, brown sauce and, and any cheese that you like. Um, my favourite, my guilty pleasure, is actually this one um, because it's uh, it stays shelf uh, stable for a long while but blue cheese um, anything you've got is great once you see the egg starting to lift because you will see it lift and rise um, and uh, all of the egg is cooked thoroughly then um, we take it off I, I cut them up into quarters flip them over for just a few minutes keeping the temperature nice and low all ready to eat and uh, that was quick quick and easy. So that's my eggy, cheesy, tomato sauced, using up the ham um, and pepper delight. 